All right, in your database, groups are key to making things easier to do if you have people categorized in groups. So let's take a look at actually creating groups. So if we go into the actual um, dashboard here, we're going to have contacts, and then underneath that you have manage groups. So let's just take a look at the contacts can be, there's a status which is not group, that they're grouped by status, but we actually want to create groups. So if I go to manage groups, I've got a ton in here which I will uh, show you. Sphere, sellers, KW Roch, agents, and then it tells me how many contacts are in each one of those groups. This is a um, strategy that a lot of top agents use is they have um, groups called A, A minus, B, and C clients. So A are your top level clients that you can expect the most business from and you may want to stay in contact with a little more often. B would be the next, A minus would be a little bit less than that. B would be the next step down and then C level clients which you don't have the best relationship with that you may not um, do as much uh, communication with as your top level agents. So you can create any group you want. So I can call this an expireds and hit save. And then that'll add it into my list of uh, groups. Now, the next thing that I can do, so I have expireds are now in here, zero contacts in there. So if I go to my dashboard, and I'm sorry, I'll go to all contacts. Let's say I want to start putting people into these groups accordingly. So if I have my database here, and I'll remove Mergen here, and I am going to go uh, account created on. So I want my most recent people that have been created. Obviously me, I've been, but I can add people to these groups. So these people, yes, absolutely. Add to, I can put them into that expired group I just did. They're also A-level clients, so people can be in multiple groups. But it's so nice to have an organized database. So when you want to go out there and send out a specific marketing piece, you can target it to the proper people in your database. So just by doing that and scrolling down and hit add, those people are all now put into the expireds and the A um, group. If it takes it, there we go. And then I can also search my database by groups. So I can say, let me just look at my top level clients. So I hit search, and now we're only going to see my A's. So I can scroll on down, here they all are. These are my people that I need to be staying in touch with. They're my top level database um, clients. So that is how you utilize that. Uh, I can't stress enough how important it is to stay organized. Um, trying to think long term, thinking career, not just this year, but career. 10 years from now, are these people going to be buying from you again? Five years from now, are they going to be listing with you to sell their home? If you don't stay in contact with them, chances are you're going to lose that opportunity and then you're always going to have to be going after new business. So stay in contact, stay organized with your database. It will pay you so much dividend.